Support for 100 Watts and a Wire is brought to you by 100wattsandawire.com. To subscribe to the show, simply click the RSS feed. While you're there, apply for your free 100 Watts ID and learn how you can help make 100 Watts and a Wire listener supported. Click the donate page and pick the option that works best for you. We've got a traveling toolkit, 100 Watts and a Wire gear, and more. That's 100wattsandawire.com. And ICOM. Calling all stations. Make sure you grab your ICOM gear for the most popular on-air event. Field Day, June 23rd and 24th. Let ICOM help you to make the most contacts or practice for emergency situations. And BioNO Power. Offering the best performance lithium iron phosphate batteries for your ham radios. Visit BioNOPower.com. That's B-I-O-E-N-N-O. P-O-W-E-R dot com or contact dealers nationwide. And now from Grid Square Echo Mike 48, this is 100 Watts and a Wire. Hey, it's Christian Kilo Zero Sierra Tango Hotel. Sending out a big thank you to everyone who participated in the 100 Watts and a Wire tune-up. And if you're just new to the show and you're like, tune up, I I don't know, what's that? Well, twice a year we do 100 watts and a wire activity days. They're not contests, but they're an opportunity for us to gather as a community on the air. And that's just what we did. The tune up happens about two weeks before field day. And way back when I got started, I was invited to a radio club here in St. Louis, and I went to visit. They didn't ask me if I wanted to do anything. They did give me some pizza, which was cool. But it's a pretty big club, and they've been around for a long time, and frankly, I was just a guest to come around. And I think they were hoping that I would film it, and that it would get on, you know, like a one of the ham radio media programs. I think that's what they were looking for. I was hoping they'd say, see child, sit down at the get on the air station and call CQ or go over there and work 20 meters. Can you do that from one to three? Huh? But they did give me pizza and you know, that's a plus. But I got to see the inner workings of this particular club, and it was fine. Oh, what the hell. It was the St. Louis and Suburban Radio Club, and what I could feel at the time, and now I haven't been invited back, so that maybe that tells you after I came back from that experience. A few years ago, I spoke about it, and I felt that maybe... Part of the club was interested in contesting, you know, like really hitting it at one o'clock central time. You had to get on the air and go. Some of the other friends were just sort of like chilling. They just wanted to get together and uh, eat some pizza and hang out and they shared the camaraderie. And I think being in a bigger club, that's the thing. You know, it's really hard to please everybody. You've got some contesters, you've got people who like to build things, people who like to be, you know, VEs, the folks that give you your ham radio test. And some people do who just want to socialize, and I thought that, you know, okay, I am just going to sit here and watch. And that's what I felt. Some folks got there early, and their job was to set up antennas. And they had a big sort of crank-up tower that you'd pull behind. It was a surplus military crank-up tower. Beautiful. It was red. Oh, I fell in love with it. Then they had another guy who brought his potato gun. That's uh, one of those air-compressed type guns that would shoot a tennis ball or a golf ball. Thoom! up over the tree, and they'd get that antenna working. So there were people hanging antennas, people who were scheduled to work on different bands at different times, through the overnight period, and into the next day. 
And so I started thinking to myself, you know what would be cool is if 100 watts and a wire could have like an activity day of our own. Because frankly, Field Day, have you ever listened to Field Day? Listen to Field Day about 20 minutes before kickoff. There's a lot of positioning happening. People will get on the band and they'll just start working stations just to hold that frequency until the start. Now, many of these stations are running power. So if you're trying to do QRP on field day or you're trying to do 100 watts in a wire in a field, it's not always easy, but you can make it work. Field day is a great amateur radio event. Possibly the favorite. Unless you're a contester and then you've got your own favorite contest. Okay. Anywho, I started thinking to myself, you know, maybe we could level the playing field by creating some activity days. And the tune-up fell right before field day. And it was an opportunity for us, if you're like me, you tinker around with these antennas, you're doing different settings with your radios, you're trying solar panels and batteries. And maybe you want to try that on your own. Well, the tune-up is a great opportunity to try some of the stuff you've been working on. Get on the air on a uh, more level playing field. You know, you could do low power, you could do high power, but you don't have all the traffic of field day, but you get, you get it. All right, I knew you get it. If I talk long enough. Well, and that's just what we did. 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time, we kicked off the tune-up. And this year, we have a net again. We had a net in the beginning, took a hiatus for a while, got things restructured. And we had a team of people, some moderators from the Facebook group, some net control operators, myself, and we took to the airwaves. And we were letting people know where we were. And there was a lot of activity from Thursday all the way to Sunday, 7 p.m. Central Time, when we knocked off. Now, on Thursday night, I was running power from the comfort of my own shack. That's another thing about field day, not field day, the tune-up or the fallout, our activity days. You can be anywhere, any mode, any time during that whole weekend. It's cool. Five watts, 1,500 watts. Do what you like. You know, digital modes, sideband, CW, whatever you want to do, it's all good. All powers welcome. Simple exchange. And as the results come trickling in, it seems to me we've had 531 unique call signs, over 1,500 QSOs. And my setup, of course, probably Thursday and Friday was in my shack. I ran power in those crazy, crappy conditions. And then come Saturday, I thought, well, let me go outside. I'll set up. I'm going to go to the old wooden shed. And I can tell you it was hot as a mother. Took a selfie of myself. See how that works? Sweat all in my eyeballs. I think my eyeballs were actually sweating. Just buckets, man. Buckets. So I thought maybe the uh, the ladies would enjoy a sweaty Christian. At least this Christian. I don't know what they like, man. I wish I could tell you what they like. I don't know what I'm doing or saying. Saturday, I, I look at the forecast. It says, hmm. Maybe rain tonight and then tomorrow, which would have been Sunday. I said, "Mm -hmm, okay, let me take my girls outside. I'll go to the old wooden shed. I'll set up some sort of wire, and we'll see what we can do. I put up a Radio Waves Pathfinder. It's modeled after their Pathfinder. I rebuilt it because at the time I was just curious to see if I could. So it's a homebrew, off-center fed type of wire configuration. 
for 20 and 40. And it plays really well. The 40 meter band is great. And I had to touch up a little bit on the 20 meters. It was right around, you know, 2.2, 2.3. All of a sudden, I'm hearing thunder. And I'm thinking, you know, we don't live too far from the airport. Maybe this is like um, the fighter jets or something. They, they do this from time to time. Usually, I think Monday or Tuesday, I'll be corrected on this with an email. But Boeing isn't very far from here. And they'll have, you know, stuff taking off from the airport. <sighs> fighter jets you know i thought maybe that's it i don't know it's a weird day for that and sure enough it was thunder thunder i yell out to my girls is that thunder yeah they're going on and on doing their thing check the forecast again there is a storm uh kicking up in st louis and it's heading this way so i took about 20 minutes to set this up and then i had to quickly break it down I made one contact on Saturday from the old wooden shed. Broke it all down, and as soon as I'm shuffling my tail back to the safety of shelter, rain, unplugged, I was out of business. Let me pump the brakes right there. We'll come back and talk a little bit more about tune-up and my next setup, and we'll, uh, we'll take care of that next. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is 100 watts and a wire. The IC7610, the SDR every ham wants. And just in time for field day, the new ICOM IC7610 is a direct sampling software-defined radio, that's SDR, that will change the world's definition of an SDR transceiver. Don't forget to bring along the perfect field day companion, the IC7300. Ideal for the ham on the go, it is a high-performance, innovative HF transceiver with a compact design. And the IC9100. The sky's no limit with this all-in-one HF, VHF, UHF rig. No matter if you're working DX, QSO, RIDI, D-Star, DV, satellite, or even moon bounce, ICOM's years of experience is working along with you. Visit icomamerica.com slash amateur for more information on all ICOM radios. It's Christian. Kilo zero sweeter than honey. Girl. Show enough. So Saturday I come in the rainstorm. I'm unplugged. I bring the umbrella down from the patio. You do all those things just to keep yourself safe and to keep your property in line. Property? Damn. To keep your property. All right. I'm not even going to cut it out. So the storm will ultimately come in and move through, and I'd be unplugged for a while. Plug back in after it passes. Get to working a little bit more from the comfort of the shack. And when I tell you we're in the 90s here and it's hot, it is hot. That's all you need to know. It's hot. Sunday comes along, and it's beautiful. That was the day it was supposed to rain and get the storms. They got it all twisted and backwards, as those weather folks do. That's a whole rant in its own. I mean, so I would drag my heels a little bit on Sunday just to make sure. I'm looking outside. I'm like, girls, it is beautiful. My girls were with me. And uh, Mama is off studying right now, so the girls are with me. I'm like, let's get dressed. Let's go on out. We'll get the kiddie pool all together, fill that up, get the toys, get the bathing suits on, put up a hammock. And I said to him, do you want me to put up the antenna? And my big girl, she's eight. She's like, yep, you got to do that. Let's do that. I said, all right. Very practical. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Sunday was beautiful, just really hot as a mop, mop, mop. And uh, got on the air, made some contacts. I ended up with 50. Uh, 49 were logged. I forgot to log Frank, uh, one of our net control operators. And, uh, you know, because sometimes you make so many QSOs with the same sort of people, you don't log them all the time. You know what I mean? But I was really proud of the fact that there was an attack by the team members of 100 Watts and a Wire. They really went out there. 
they were on the air. I mean, these cats can do CW. They post it up on social media. Anybody want to do a CW contact here? Next thing you know, they're banging it out, man. They're banging it out. Morse code. It, that's just cool to have on the team. 80 meters, 20 meters, 40 meters, digital modes. There could have been some D-Star work, but I didn't uh, I didn't connect to D-Star this time around. I heard rumor maybe that would be something, uh, you know, of interest. But again, over 1,500 QSOs. Now I'm remembering back to, now I've got guys who are deep into the stats, man. They want to know what's happening. This is on the 100 team. They want to know what's happening, analyze it, see where we can do better, and that's cool. Okay, that's cool. Your boy is moving on. I got my my oar, and I'm slowly paddling through the water. Sometimes it feels like a vasil- a boat in Vaseline. You know, like you're trying to turn it with an oar. So those guys are crunching numbers. 531 unique call signs. That's excellent. It's excellent. 1,500. That's at least 500 more than last year's fallout. We do a fallout in the fall. It's the first weekend in October. It's almost that last weekend before things start getting really dicey. It's kind of a let's wrap this season up before it gets too cold. Now, I know everybody can get out there and do it if they want to, the diehards. But the normal folk, the people who try to get out every now and again... The fallout is the next one, a chance for us to get out again. So we'll work uh, to do more next time. But I'm thinking we're 500 over uh, last uh, fallout's results. Very happy. 50 contacts for your boy in some choppy weather. Let me talk to you a little bit about my setups on Sunday. I went out there and put up the chameleon. It's the P-loop. 2.0, it's a uh, revised version of their P-Loop. And my little girl got stung. She got stung by like a bee on her hand, and it tried to come back and get her on the leg. And I looked at her face, and it was that face of a child that had just been first insulted, second in a little bit of pain. You know, it probably was a lot of pain. And I said, baby, let's break it down. Because one thing I didn't account for is like the deep woods off. I need to get them as a sponsor on the show because that's really what I needed. And I I went up on the edge of the woods because the sun was blazing. And we were all set up and I put a photo of it. I had the dog out there. We were under some pine trees. And this MFN something came along and stung baby girl, and the look on her face, I was like, okay, let's just break it down. I was only putting out like 20 watts. The The band conditions were terrible, crunchy. I think I made a contact there. I'm not even sure. Maybe two contacts in Missouri. But look, family first. We went in, came and got some witch hazel, cleaned her up, cooled her down, popsicle. Popsicles help. They do a lot. They do a lot. They can heal. They can heal. So anyway, we come in and get rested. Then we decide we're going to go back out. We set it up and do the situation I told you about with the off-center fed and kind of finished up. I did a couple of hours out there, maybe made half my contacts out there with 100 watts and a wire in the old wooden shed at the edge of the woods And just had a blast. Coming up, the moment you've been waiting for, I will announce the winners. We have four prizes to give away. And we'll do that next. Made in America, shared worldwide. This is 100 watts and a wire. BioNO Power lithium iron phosphate batteries offer some of the best performance batteries for any of your HF or other mobile ham radios. With over 2,000 charge cycles and a battery that is super light, only one-third that of AGM or lead-acid batteries, these batteries are a great solution. Visit BioNOPower.com 
or contact dealers nationwide, including Ham Radio Outlet, Ham Source, PowerWorks, Comms to Go, Impulse Electronics, Portable Zero, and many others. That's BioNO Power, B I O E N N O P O W E R dot com. 100 watts in a wire. Upgrades. Congratulations to Kelly, Kilo Charlie 8, Golf Tango Echo for becoming an amateur general. If you are studying for your test and preparing, you will pass. And when you do, visit 100wattsinawire.com and click the upgrades page and let us know and we'll celebrate you on the air. Now you just heard a little bit about BioNO Power and I want to give away a BioNO battery right now. So the random drawing is very simple. We take all the entries and again you would do this at our website 100wattsandawire.com click on activity days there's a brief form. You submit that you go into the big pot. I take all those people and they get a number and I write all the numbers down And then I bring my daughter in, and she will circle four numbers. She doesn't even know whose name it is, where you live, any of that. Random. She picks four numbers, and then I give her four prizes, A, B, C, and D. She takes A, puts it on a number, B, another number, C, and so on. So lucky you. Rich, Kilo 1, Romeo, Bravo, Charlie, K1, RBC, that's Rich. Rich is in Massachusetts. He's going to win the Bio NO battery, and they will be sending out your prizes directly. Now, we also have a Power Film solar panel. Congratulations to Aaron, November 4, Alpha Romeo Yankee. He's in Georgia. Way to go, Aaron. Also, Dave, he's going to win the Chameleon Antenna. Dave Kilo 2 Lima Tango Echo. He's in New Jersey. His 100-watt ID is 210. By the way, every winner had a 100 watts and a wire ID. Let's go back to Aaron for a second. Aaron, who won the PowerFilm Solar Panel. His 100-watt ID is 1701, and we start it with Rich, K1RBC. His 100-watt ID is 1443. Moving on to the Radio Waves antenna, congratulations to Brian, Kilo Kilo 4, Kilo Tango Victor. His 100-watt ID is 2557, and he's in Kentucky. Congratulations to all of our winners Again, the manufacturers will send your prize to you directly. Way to go. I thank you all for participating and listening to my recap. The numbers are going to come in. We're going to crunch some more numbers and share the information with you and figure out the best ways for us to grow. Speaking of membership, please take an opportunity to consider our sustaining member benefit. You heard these companies I've mentioned. Chameleon Antenna, BioNO Power, Radio Waves, Power Film Solar, MFJ. They are all companies that are willing to give you a discount, sometimes deep discounts. All you have to do, you contribute $25 to the show. That helps me. You get a benefit by getting discounts from participating companies, and the companies benefit from potentially getting your sale. It's a win-win-win. Visit 100wattsandawire.com and learn how to become a member at a level that's right for you. The sustaining member benefit can help you get your money back quickly. You know you've got all these projects coming up. Think about it. Get yourself a discount with the great companies, and they're all listed at the website. I'm a little hoarse from the weekend. Part of that is from talking too much, the 50 contacts I did make. Well, 
I spend a lot of time talking to people. I'm just yapping it up, man. You know, I'm going on, how's your kids? You got a grandbaby running around there. Because so many people you, you get to know through this great hobby and service. You get to know these people. Even if you haven't met them face to face, you know what's going on in their lives. So I like to touch base with that. Finally, I want to talk to you a little bit about the Sunday Night Net. That's right. Tell your friends, Sunday night, 7 o'clock Central Time, we will do a 40-meter, 100 watts and a wire net. Yours truly will be there, flanked with a team around me. And we will work as many stations as we can in a two-hour time period. This week, well, yeah, this week's Sunday, we were at 7188 on 40 meters. And if we're lucky, maybe we will have that frequency. I'm interested in getting some Pacific Northwest stations to help out to be a relay or a net control station. So if you're in that area listening in sort of that that Northwest region of the country, it would be really cool to have coverage there. Drop me a line and we'll hook you up. Okay, we'll get you started. We'll make the contacts and try to figure out what we can do and if we can work together. That would be really cool. So now two nets, Thursday night, 7 o'clock Central Time. And this one's probably going to focus on two bands. Now that we're heading into summer and it's really hot, I think summer's official now. I mean, when it hits 90, it's summer to me. 20 meters, listen on 20 meters, and listen on 40. 40 seems to be there for us all the time. I mean, at least you can have contacts in the evening, during the day, at nighttime. 40 meters is kind of the go-to band, I think. But 20 meters has been excellent. So listen for us. If you follow social media, look for us on Facebook. Visit uh, or search 100wattsandwire.com podcast on Facebook or Twitter. Follow us there. We have a YouTube channel. That's for video extras. This show does not go onto the YouTube channel, but sometimes video extras will, and I'll take you out to the antenna site, wherever. We'll go fishing. I don't know. Just do a search. Follow us there and uh, stay connected in our community. Okay, well, on that note, again, my appreciation, heartfelt to the 100 Watts and Wire team for participating. It really made a difference. It made it bigger this year. Thank you all. You know who you are. Also, our listeners and the members of our community who got on the air. It didn't matter if you just made one contact. It didn't matter. 10, 12, or 60, or 100. Some people did. You got on the air. You had a good time. And you persisted in crappy crappy conditions. Good for you. I, I, I'm proud. I'm very proud of the event. I look forward to doing it again. We will do it again. All right, my friends, take care of yourselves and take care of your family. And by all means, if you can, if it fits into your schedule, please try and stay above the noise. To join the 100 Watts in a Wire community, visit 100wattsinawire.com.